Good morning, Year 5, and welcome back for more division. So first of all, I've got the answers to, the, to yesterday's task. I've done uh, the workings out for 1 and 2 for you, and then written the rest of the answers in. For number 3 and number 4, I've given you the answer both as a decimal and a remainder. Now, for this week's work, it's we're okay just to have the remainder answer, but if you wanted to do it as a decimal, I've put it there so you can check your working. So hopefully you got on well with that. Okay, we're now going to be moving on to how we might uh, make that a little bit more efficient. And we're going to use a short division method. So in essence, it's exactly the same, but we just don't write so much down. So I'm going to show you an example, and then we'll do a couple more examples, and then you'll have some to practice. So we're going to do 327 divided by 2. OK, so we set it out in exactly the same way. Our divisor is 2 and our dividend is 327. And then we start with the hundreds. So we say, right, I've got three hundreds. I need to put it into two equal groups. Well, I know that I can put two of those into an equal group and there will be one in each group and one left over. So this time we don't bring that one down and change it into tens, we add it onto the tens just here. So I've done three divided by two, put one in each group and one left over. And that's my hundreds done. Now I move on to my tens. So I've got 12 tens there. I need to split it into two equal groups, which I can do. There will be six in each group. So that's that finished. And now I move on to my ones. I've got seven ones. If I want to split that into two equal groups, there's going to be three in each group, and then there's going to be one left. So it gives you the answer, 163 remainder one. Okay, let's do another example. So now I'm going to do a four-digit number. I'm going to do 3,142 divided by four. So again, we lay it out in exactly the same way. Our dividend goes there, and our divisor goes here. And then we start with the thousands. So this time we're looking at four equal groups. Of course, knowing your four times table here will really help you out. If you don't know your four times table, you might find it useful to just write your multiples of four at the side to help you. So this time's a little bit different because I've only got three thousands counters and I can't split that into four equal groups. So I'm going to straight away exchange those thousands into hundreds. So I've now got 31 hundreds. I need to split those into four equal groups. Now I know that I can, can do 28 of those, which will be seven in each group, because four times seven is 28. But I had 31, so I've got three left, which become my tens. So I've now got 34 tens. I need to divide those into four equal groups. So I can have eight in each group. That will be 32. So it means I've got two left, which I'm going to exchange for ones. So I've now got 22 ones. I need to split those into four equal groups. So I can share out 20 of them, which will be five in each group. But I would still have two left, which gives me the answer 785 remainder two. OK, so one more example then. This time I'm going to do 3,038 divided by 6. So my dividend there is 3,038 and my divisor is 6. So I've got my 3,000s first. Now I already know I'm not going to be able to split those into six equal groups. So I'm going to take them together with the hundreds. So I now have 30 hundreds. Now I know that 30 is in the six times table and I know that it's in there five times. So five lots of six is 30. And I haven't got any left over, so I now can move on to my tens. Now I'm going to have the same problem again. I've only got three tens, and I can't split that into six equal groups. So I can't do it. But because I can't do it, I must put zero. Just like when we would have done with a long division, we put a zero in. I must put a zero there. I didn't do it here because it doesn't mean anything there. But here it's important that it goes in there to hold that place. And then I take my tens together with my ones. So I've got 38 ones. Now, if I'm thinking about my six times table, I know that 36 is a multiple of six, and it's six times six. And then I've got two left to get to 38. 
So the answer is 506 remainder 2. Okay, so there's got some for you to practice. Obviously, this is a new method, so it might take a little bit of practice. Here's some for you to have a little go at, and there's a few for you to spot a mistake for as well.